Um, hi, we're Safe Sound. I'm Mia, and with me are my teammates Donovan and Daniel. And before I get into what our web app does, I want to talk about the motivation behind our app. And we wanted to make something that directly affected our community. And a huge issue within college communities and within college towns is the rate of sexual assault. It's a lot higher, as we all know. And one in five women will get sexually assaulted during their college career, and one in 18 men will also get sexually assaulted. Yet, only three out of four, or one out of four, sexual assaults get reported. But 85 to 90 percent of victims know their assaulter's name. And so we wanted to kind of answer the question, why aren't these assaults getting reported? And sometimes it can be maybe it was a friend, and you're like, that, that was a one-time thing, I don't know, or um, there's a lot of shame or guilt, or you just feel really uncertain. And so what we wanted to do was we wanted to create an app to unite victims from sexual assault and provide on-campus resources and off-campus resources. Um, so what our app does is you log into the application and if there's an incident that you want to report, you report it to the app. And basically what it does is once you put in the name of your assaulter, it will connect you to other people who have also been assaulted by that same person. But it's all anonymous, so you don't know who those people are. You're giving victims like anonymity, so that way they're not um, exposed to each other. And basically, you can create a course of action. You can say, have you reported this? Or, like, were you taken seriously? And as we know, there's a lot of strength in numbers. Um, this has been seen when an assault case is brought to court, and then 20 other people will come up and saying, oh, the same thing happened to me, too. So what we want to do is we want to create a way so that way maybe instead of 40 people getting assaulted, it's only 20 people. Maybe they can come together earlier and report it sooner or they can talk to each other and say, oh, I went to CAPS and it wasn't that helpful. You should actually go to the Monarch um, program downtown. Um, and yeah, um, we're going to demo our app now. Okay. We were hoping to be able to do a live demo. That's all right. Okay, so is this one on? Okay, uh, so I'll uh, uh, talk you through what Donovan's doing here. Uh, he's logging in with his UCSC email. Um, you can only log in if you have a UCSC email. Okay, um, so you can only log in with a UCSC email. Uh, this is just kind of a proof of concept, but we didn't want anybody to be able to log on. Um, so this is our welcome page here. We have, uh, like we said, a lot of resources. There are a lot of resources for people who have been sexually assaulted, but there are uh, almost too many resources. There's not a good first step uh, game plan. So we just kind of wanted to explain briefly uh, where you can get help and uh, you know access to people who are actually trained to deal with this. Um, you can over here. You can add a report, uh, select a date, the name. Um, and then if you wanted to pr provide additional information, you could. Okay, um, and then you want to show the messages here? Okay, so um, this will, see there's only one person in the chat room right now because he just made up that name, but um, if there were more people, they would all be connected here. You wouldn't be able to see anybody else's name, but you could communicate about the next steps and, and how people are coping with it. Uh, this app, uh, this website is up and running, although uh, um, technically it's up and running, but we have, yeah, we haven't, uh, uh, we don't want to put it up live yet because we still have technical things to do. Yeah, we want to work with the legal implications of it first and talk to how care handles um, not having to report. 